Hello and welcome to this Tech Tip by Stone Octero. My name is Laurie Hassel and I'm a senior consultant in geology. Now this Tech Tip is all about QEQC checking uh, in particular. Now we all know the importance of QEQC uh, and uh, the importance of, of getting reliable and accurate and precise data uh, and assays from uh, laboratories. However, QEQC checking should be done uh, during uh, a, a campaign. So during, for example, a drilling campaign as batches are received from the lab and assays are received, that is when you know, QQC checking should be done. Um, more often than not, QQC is compiled or QQC samples are compiled at the end of a campaign and CRMs are plotted, blanks are plotted, duplicates are plotted and assessments are made as to the, uh, the accuracy and, um, and precision of, the, uh, of the, the assay data. That isn't what QQC is for. QQC is for spotting, uh, spotting issues, uh, you know, in the reliability of data, and then actioning the data, the uh, actioning any any flags uh, with the laboratory, so that those fixes can be made then and there, and that and so that they don't affect the, the entire uh, batch or batches uh, during a campaign. Now this process needs to be uh, efficient, uh, but also transparent. Now, a lot of companies use uh, software platforms to capture QOQC uh, and, and to do those checks, to make those plots and graphs, uh, and that's fine. Uh, however, you know, it can be, it can be done in, in Excel, you know, with templates set up. The point is, and the, the, the tip really is to, to ensure that those templates are set up before, uh, way before, you know, uh, uh, sampling and, and uh, samples are sent to, to the assay laboratory. So that you know, when assay assays come in, batches come in, they, they can be easily populated into a QQC checking template, and uh, those those um, those plots can be uh, can can be made, and uh, decisions as to whether a a batch fails or a batch passes can be made instantaneously. Now, also another uh, tip is uh, to to set up standard operating procedures um, uh, to uh, to ensure that that. Procedure is recorded and uh, ensure that it's consistent uh, by the personnel who are doing the QQC checking. And then the final tip is to um, to talk to the assay laboratory well before any samples are sent uh, to the lab uh, to ensure that um, a protocol and a procedure is set up with the laboratory for when QQC's, uh, QQC samples have failed and, uh, and ensuring that there is a procedure uh, and a process with the laboratory set up uh, to, to action uh, you know, any, any uh, QQC failures. So there's a step-by-step -step guide in terms of, well, when a sample uh, is uh, has failed, what happens? What does the laboratory do? Does the laboratory repeat the, the, um, repeat the sample, repeat the assay? Does it remake the sample from pulp? Does it remake from course? Or, um, dependent on the investigation, is the batch uh, completely uh, you know, reassayed or remade uh, from uh, from uh, drill core or from, from core sample? Now this is really important because you know often you know when clients raise uh, concerns with the reliability of data, you know, the laboratories may may uh, push back on this. So it's important to to uh, to have a, a, a procedure set up well before, well in advance, uh, to ensure that, that there are no disagreements and that the process is clear and uh, transparent uh, to, all, to all involved. So thank you for, for listening to this uh, tech tip uh, about QQC uh, checking. Uh, and uh, if, you, if you're interested in uh, listening to more tech tips or fresh thinking podcasts, then please subscribe to, uh, to the Stone Up Tiro podcast. Thank you for listening.